Here I have a watermelon guys. And you know watermelon is very fresh and it's good to have your watermelon in the summer. And for the guys, watermelon is a natural diet. Alright, that is for the guys. So today I'm going to be grilling some watermelon. So come along with me and I show you how to do it. So first I'm going to start off by cutting this watermelon. I already washed my melon. And this is a very good watermelon and I can I tell you it is very delicious. Sweet. In my and next video, kitchen. I will definitely teach you guys how to choose to the sweetest watermelon like, comment, from the grocery store. Let's go ahead yeah, and man, click the red subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified whenever she upload a new video. And support the thing, share Carla's Kitchen CC. Yeah, you hear that? What am I saying? Run go subscribe to Carla's Kitchen CC. Yeah, yeah. This. Yeah. And I'm going to cut this in half. Mm. Wow, it is so sweet, guys. Thumbs up the video. Here I have my little um, star cookie cutter, so I'm going to use it to cut out some design in this watermelon. Guys, grilled watermelons, they have a slightly chewier texture, also like raw tuna. The taste becomes less sweet and more savory and smoky. Yes, guys, almost like a piece of um, steak. Look at this beautiful star. Yes, guys, the first time I had watermelon, I thought I was having a nice piece of steak. Because it indeed looked like a piece of steak. Yes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use my skewer to hold my watermelon. All right, so I'm going to poke a hole through it like this. Okay, you see? Alright, so that is one down. So here they are guys. So now we're going to be putting these on the grill. Alright, let's go over to the stove. Now we're going to be cooking each piece of watermelon until grill marks are formed and the watermelon is slightly soft. So you'll cook it for about two to three minutes per side.
Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead now and turn these watermelon on the other side. Even some lemon juice on them. Or if you have lime, you can also use some lime juice. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt over the watermelon. And just a little pinch of salt. Guys, it smells so good. It smells so good in this kitchen. Wow, try this out. It's very, very simple and nice. Try them out. Like the video guys, drop some comments here. Look at these. So yummy. And this is about done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove them from the grill and come back and show it to you. Alright? Here you have the grilled watermelon guys. Look how beautiful this is looking. It smells so delicious. I cannot wait to dig in it. So I added some feta cheese. You know just for my garnishing yeah look at that very nice very very nice guys like up the video share the video out and tell me what you think about these grill watermelon and if you ever had it before comment and tell me how it tastes and if you like it yes guys stay tuned for Auntie Ange, she's coming up with a lovely brown stew pork and rice and peas dish for you guys. I'm going to add a bit of boiling water. The pork is, is browning, you know, taking nice colors. So I'm just going to add a bit of boiling water. And the reason for this, I had um, used the boiling water because it speed up the process of the cooking. Right? So look at it, guys. It is coming and having a color. That I needed to have beautiful nice brown color so guys and the rice and peas is over here bubbling hot there it is so we will see you in a few minutes for the next step guys look at the port now it is coming down getting the right color that I need it to be and um, it's soon um, finished now just gonna have the season the rest of season to it in about the next 10 minutes and then now we'll take it from there and I show you the finishing touch when the time is right. Okay guys, thank you. See you later. Guys, I'm just going to add um, the rest of the seeds now to the pork so it can cook down in it properly. I also have some bell peppers but you know that don't goes in until to the end of it because you know your pepper have to be crunchy. So I will come back to you at the final stage. Look at the pot of with the rice and peas over here. It's already done. See, beautiful and nice rice and peas. So I will come back to you at the final stage of this pour and let you have a look. Thank you. So guys, this is a finishing touch of the brown stew pour to go with the rice and peas. And everything is made. Ginger, everything, everything from Jamaica, you know. This is Auntie Angie's brown stew pour. We'll go with the rice and peas with some mixed veg for later on. Thank you guys. All I want you to do now is to press the notification bell and subscribe to the channel. Right? So thank you guys. Love you. Have a good day. Thai dish for you guys to see. You know, it is so delicious. So nice. So lovely. Just look at it guys. Look at it. Look at it there. Have a nice look. Yes, guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.
Remember guys, if this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe to the channel, touch the notification bell to all. It will alert you every time when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for your support guys. Be kind to yourselves. Put God first in everything that you're doing. Be good, walk good, be kind. Yes guys, to yourselves. So you will know how to show kindness to others. Walk good, be good, do good. I feel like I'm kitchen, myself, remember to subscribe and, and good like, like comment and share. Thank you must click the red subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever she upload a new video. And support the thing, share Carlos Kitchen CC. Yeah, you hear that? What must say? Run go subscribe to Carlos Kitchen CC. Yeah, yeah, yeah.